Today I'm about to make a whole day of eating video. Um, just take you through what I normally eat. I just started a bulking diet. Uh, I was doing a cut for like six weeks maybe. And I just switched back over to a bulk. So I'm going to show you guys what I eat. So for breakfast, I'm just going to eat some eggs and some toast. Got the special toast, or special bread. Dave's Killer Bread. meal. Now I'm gonna get some work done and probably eat again in like two hours or so. No, I gotta do it. Alright, so right now I'm about to head over to Preston's for a pull workout. Uh, so I got an apple right here. I'm going to eat on the way over there for some carbs. Got BCAAs for during the workout. Got my gallon of water that I'm going to sip throughout the day and a lot during the workout. So yeah, I'm about to head over there. All my supplies here, apple, BCAAs. Metro cold brew thanks to my awesome mom and I'm heading out let's go Bye. be in the truck about to go to Preston's place of work to go get some scones and some coffee hopefully for free so I just went to Preston's work and got this snickerdoodle cupcake thingy and this shit is fucking delicious my mind has been blown all right so I killed that cookie thing inside the car and my goal is to hit 140 carbs after the workout and 30 grams of protein so I'm going to eat some turkey and then probably just a ton of cereal to hit my carbs. It can be kind of weird logging stuff like um, that sandwich cookie sometimes because it's just a local shop so they won't be on my fitness pal. So I found this cookie sandwich called Divi's and I looked it up. And it kind of looks similar. I think the one I ate was a good bit bigger though. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do like one and a half. So insane amount of calories but that makes sense because that thing was crazy and 72 grams of carbs so i just need to eat 70 more so boom there's that two cups of captain crunch comes out to 61 grams of carbs and then plus the milk it's about 17 so it's a little bit over 140 so there's one cup of Captain Crunch. The milk I just guesstimate. So I just killed all of the Captain Crunch. Now I got some of this turkey for my protein. 
This is 99% turkey. Doesn't taste great, but it's good fuel. So I already pre-cooked this and this is one third of a pound. And it's about 38 grams of protein in here, 36 actually. So I just microwave this for 55 seconds to get it warm. So I usually put like some hot sauce or something on this because it's really just plain tasting but today I don't really feel like it. I'm just going to eat it plain. And then I drink it with water, usually like peace tea or something, uh, just to help get it down because kind of tastes like, hmm, like balls of paper. So my madre is actually going to be cooking dinner for me tonight. So I'm starving right now, so I'm just going to have one of these light and fit Greek yogurts. It's only 80 calories and has 12 grams of protein, so it's like the perfect snack and it fills you up pretty good. So yeah. So I just destroyed that meal. I'm currently driving to the store right now so I can go get some of these Greek yogurt popsicles. These are fucking amazing. These right here are the bad boys I was talking about. These motherfuckers will blow your mind, especially this flavor. All the other ones are pretty good too, but this one in particular is fucking amazing. 100 calories and 5 grams of protein and a fucking dessert. It's currently 8.28 at night. And I'm going to enjoy these one protein bars. It has 20 grams of protein. It's about 220 calories. With this pineapple groove piece tea, which has zero calories. Basically zero anything. And yeah, just playing some GTA 5. Alright, so it is currently about 3.30 in the morning. Fucking tired as shit. My brain capacity is at like 10% right now. I've been playing GTA 5 for like five hours now. So before I go to bed, I'm going to have a casein protein shake. This is good because it's a slow digesting protein, so it'll keep you more anabolic throughout the night where you'd usually be in a fasted state. So this stuff's pretty good. I actually like this better than regular whey protein taste-wise, just because it kind of tastes like, like thicker in substance, or where whey protein just kind of tastes like I know it's real thin. I forgot to add water. But for this stuff, you want to add 16 ounces of water versus 8 ounces, or else it will taste like absolute ass cheeks. So there's that. And grab the protein. Dump that in there. As you can see, the scoop is way bigger than a regular whey protein scoop. Put this away. A nice little shake. Grab a ball. Throw that sucker in there. Boom. I'm gonna chug this. And then head to sleep. Now I'm about to get to bed. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.